Double windows came before single pane windows. This is an article from the Chicago Evening Post and the date is July 1911. And they're talking about how now in downtown Chicago and in, in the apartments, we have these wonderful systems of steam heat. And this is the greatest thing because now we can get rid of those double windows that the people in the country use because there's no way to get fresh air into a into an apartment with the double windows they don't open so this is great we've got a single pane window now we've got a steam radiator sitting in front of it and we can just we could be warm and, and have ventilation uh, through lousy windows so it was actually the invention of steam heating that did away with the with the double window they came first and this is also why you'll see radiators installed under windows. Because when you think about it, if, if you've got a room that has a heat loss of, say, 10,000 BTUs, it really doesn't matter where in the room you put that radiator. It could be mounted under the window. It could be mounted on an inside wall. It could even be mounted on the ceiling. In fact, if you've been around enough steam heat, you'll see plenty of radiators that are mounted on the ceiling, and many times in the lower floors, and that's to get them above the boiler water line. So if the, loss, the heat loss of the room is 10,000 BTUs and the radiator is putting 10,000 BTUs into the room, it really doesn't matter where it is. The reason why it winds up under the window is because they were using these loose windows that allowed fresh air in and having the radiator right there kind of warmed the air as it was coming through the window. So there's a little bit of history for you. It helps to study history when you're trying to learn about this old stuff.